Hi, I'm Lourdes. And I'm Maria. And we are the two Spanish sisters. And for those of you who have been following us on Facebook, you will know that we are on North Stradbroke Island. We absolutely love this place. And so Maria, would you like to tell everybody where we are today? Okay, today we are on beautiful Home Beach. We're over near this um, lovely rocky area here and um, the ocean's right behind us, blue skies, just only a few clouds here and there. What better place to cook, I say. Absolutely. So today we're going to be making some beautiful garlic and chili pippies. Now pippies we've been catching here on this island for many years. Absolutely. Um, since we were like three was our first trip out here. Doing the so, pippie shuffle. That's right. So we're going to show you how we do it. This is one way we have cooked them before in tomato sauce but today it's going to be very simple so all of you can try this okay. So let's have a look at these beautiful pippies first of all. We have got some uh, olive oil in the pan. I did put some in just as we arrived but I'm going to put a little bit more and let's go through the ingredients that we'll be using today we've got about five garlic cloves we have two de-seeded red chilies here just to give it a little bit of bite we also Maria do you want to okay we've got some flat leaf parsley there and we've got some lovely juicy lemons right here we have and some that's chicken for the stock. Touch. Yep, chicken stock and some white wine. Mm -hmm. And it'll simmer in this beautiful white wine and chicken stock sauce. Okay, so first of all, let's put the garlic in the fry pan. So we're just going to uh, let that simmer away a little bit. Now we can already start to smell the beautiful mm. garlic. Awesome. I'm sure the people on this beach are going to get very hungry very soon. <laughs> They're going to gravitate to us pretty soon. Okay, Maria, would you like to put the, uh, the chilli sure. in? Because we don't want to burn this garlic. A couple of seeds there in the bottom for extra bites. And while I do this, Maria's just going to uh, strain the water out of the pippies. Because we've been keeping them alive for two days. No, they couldn't be any any fresher than what they are. Okay, yep, yeah, so Maria, would you like to put um, half a cup of wine in that one cup measurement? So we're going to put half a cup of wine, of white wine. And that will go in the pan. Yep, that's perfect. Oh, listen to that. Delicious. And then we're going to get the one cup of chicken stock ready. Today we're just Daddy. using store-bought chicken stock because we're out and about so we want to give you uh, tips on how to make food quickly and easily. So these beautiful pippies are closed which means that they're alive in here. So what we're going to do now is say goodbye. Say Bye. We're going to love you and leave you and then eat you in a moment. So here we go. In they go. In the pan. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop the lid on that. And when the pippies are open, it means they are ready. This will probably take, I'm estimating about five minutes, but you will certainly know when they are ready. Okay, Maria and everyone, it's been about five minutes and the pippies have opened. So let's take the lid off and let's have a look. The best way to know that the pippies are cooked is if they have all opened. Sometimes there might be a couple that haven't opened, but I wouldn't really worry too much about that. Just prise them open and eat them all up. Okay, so let's plate them up now. We're ready to plate up and then to enjoy. So next time you're at Stratty, catch yourself some pippies, cook them up just like we did today and enjoy a beautiful pippy feast. I don't know about you, but we're hungry, so we'll see you next time. Bye.